Hello, uh, welcome all. Uh, today I will uh, discuss uh, on uh, type 3 that is uh, from partial fraction uh, number 3 here. Uh, uh, the denominator is or can be expressed as a product of uh, linear factors and some of which are repeated. That means here uh, uh, we have some uh, linear factors and which are uh, repeated, which can uh, which are repeated uh, here. Uh, look at this example uh, uh, x by uh, x minus 1 whole square uh, into x minus 2. So here we see that uh, x minus 1 is uh, repeated twice. Okay. Uh, here x minus 1 square that means x minus 1 into x minus 1 that means here x minus 1 repeated twice so in this case we can uh, rewrite this uh, as uh, here equivalent to uh, first one is uh, x minus 1 plus then uh, without repeat uh, sorry x minus 2 here uh, x minus 2 x minus 2 this one is this and here uh, another one is without repeating without repeating that means here uh, we have x minus 1 without repeating this factor that is x minus 1 here okay and plus another one uh, repeating twice okay huh? then here we have x minus 1 whole square okay uh, so we can if we have here 3 power 3 x minus 1 whole cube that means here we have to write another term that is repeating third time third okay uh, so uh, in above uh, we will put uh, uh, 3 uh, a b and c okay uh, 3 alphabets here a b c and now we have to determine the value of a b c uh, this is equation 1 equation 1 now uh, uh, in second step we have to multiply the whole equation we have to multiply the whole equation by uh, the de denominator of the given factor uh, given uh, yes uh, so that is x minus 1 whole square into x minus 2 so we have to multiply the whole equation by x minus 1 whole square into x minus 2 then we will have uh, we will have here x equivalent to uh, here we will have a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into uh, if we multiply this term by this then we will have uh, x minus 1 x minus 1 cancel uh, so we have another x minus 1 that is x minus 1 into we have x minus 2 plus c into we have x minus 1 whole square will be cancelled then we will have x minus 2 okay uh, this is equation 2 so uh, here we will now put the value of x then we will get uh, the value of either a b or c okay now here we have x minus 1 whole square so if we put x minus 1 whole square equals to 0 then we will have x equals to 1 and uh, here x minus 2 equals to 0 then we will have x equals to 2 so we will put the value of x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 then we will have here uh, the value of 2 alphabets so uh, now putting now putting x equals to 1 in equation 2 we get uh, here we get uh, if we ex put x equals to 1 then we will have 1 here uh, equals to uh, this term will be 0 this one will be 0 then we will have uh, c into that is uh, 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 okay c into minus 1 so the value of c equals to minus 1 we have the value of c okay now again again putting x equals to 2 again putting x equals to 2 on equation 2 we get uh, here if we put x equals to 2 then we will have 2 2 equals to here uh, here we will have 2 minus 1 that is 1 1 square that means 1 that is a a into 1 so here we have 0 here we have 0 
that means a equals to 2 so we have already two values uh, that is uh, two values here uh, that is a equals to 2 and a c equals to minus 1 now we have to find the value of b but there is no other option to put the value of x here so in this case uh, listen to me uh, if you have no other option to put the value of x then we will have to calculate from equation 2 we have to calculate from equation 2 here now if we calculate uh, that is x equals to so uh, if calculate from equation 2 then we will have uh, here I have uh, I have we have here uh, c equals to minus 1 and the value a equals to 2 okay and now from equation 2 we will get uh, from from equation 2 we get uh, here we will equate uh, the uh, coefficient of x squared x and uh, constant term okay uh, from equation 2 we get here uh, x equals to uh, here a into x square minus twice x plus 1 uh, here plus b into uh, x square minus uh, thrice x plus 2 if we multiply this two terms then we will have this okay uh, then plus c into uh, x minus 2 now here uh, if we uh, take common x square then we have here uh, x square ax okay ax square here bx square so we will have a plus b x square okay i will uh, write another line uh, here if we multiply by x a x square minus twice a x plus a plus uh, b x square minus thrice b x plus twice b plus c x minus twice c okay now if we take x square common then we will have a plus b into x square minus uh, or plus if we take x common then we will have minus twice a uh, here uh, minus thrice b uh, here plus c into x okay now we have a uh, constant term a plus twice b a plus twice b uh, minus twice c okay and uh, in left side we have only x so this uh, in this equation both sides are equal to be equal uh, here we have to the coefficient of each term that is coefficient of x square coefficient of x and coefficient uh, no constant term constant must be equal on both side okay here we have uh, x square uh, coefficient of x square is a plus b but here we don't have any x square here okay so we can uh, write that is as x square 0 into x square plus okay now if we equate uh, the whole equation both sides then here we have x square uh, coefficient of x square is a plus b and here we have 0 so we can write here equating equating the coefficient of x square on both sides we get uh, here we will get a plus b equals to 0 okay here the coefficient of x squared is a plus b here the coefficient of x squared equals to 0 so we can write a plus b equals to 0 okay and here coefficient of x here coefficient of x is 1 here this so we can write this one equals to 1 and here we have constant term this and here we have no constant term that means we can write this is equals to 0 so but, uh, we already have the value of b a and c but we need only the value of b so we don't uh, need to write uh, these equations there uh, here 
uh, we don't uh, need to uh, equate uh, the coefficient of x and constant term okay uh, here we have a plus b equals to 0 so if we put the value of a here then we will get the value of b so we, earlier we have the value of a equals to 2 or 2 plus b equals to 0 that means b equals to minus 2 so we have the uh, value of all three alphabets here okay uh, all three and that is uh, we have the value of a equals to 2 we have the value of a b equals to minus 2 and the value of c equals to minus 1 now if we put the values uh, here in equation 1 then we will get the converted partial fractions here okay uh, now putting the value of now if we put the value of uh, now putting the value of a b c in equation 1 we have x by x minus 1 whole square x minus 2 equals to uh, that is uh, 2 by x minus 2 uh, minus 2 by x minus 1 minus 1 by x minus 1 whole square that is our required result that is the answer okay uh, this is type 3 okay uh, here we have a repeating value uh, repeating factors okay uh, uh, now look at the look at me here uh, if we have 3 here that is the answer okay now if we rearrange this that is if you are given here uh, 3 okay if you are given here 3 so what should you do here you have to add another fraction you have to add another fraction that is x minus 1 whole cube by d this one is you have to add that fraction add extra but if you have 4 here so you have to add another one okay now I will discuss on uh, type 4 that is uh, uh, here uh, the denominator is or can be is or can be uh, expressed as product of linear and quadratic factor and none of which is repeated and fifth one is uh, some of which is repeated okay uh, here uh, we have an example here uh, number 28 that is x by x minus 1 and x squared plus 4 uh, here we have quadratic factor here x squared plus 4 which is quadratic factor and here uh, we have x minus 1 divided by x okay and uh, none of which is repeated here uh, so uh, in this case we have to uh, rearrange that is we have to rewrite the fraction uh, in the form of uh, this at first uh, we have 1 uh, that is x minus 1 okay then plus we have another one that is x square plus 4 here x square plus 4 now in uh, here the numerator will be a and look at me here uh, for this case earlier we have written just b but for this case we can written only b here we have to write here here we have x square so if we uh, less uh, one degree then we have x so we have to write bx plus then less another one that is x here we have uh, x square so if we uh, less one degree then we have x if we less another one degree then we have x to the power zero that means one so we have here c only okay but uh, here if you have if you have uh, x cube then you have to write this term as x square cx plus d okay if you have x to the power 4 here then you have to write 
x cube first one less than one degree then less than one degree and another one degree then we have two then less than another one degree then we have x then another one then we have two e okay uh, if we have here x to the power 4 then we will have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 terms here. If you have here 3 then we will have uh, 3 terms here, okay? Uh, 3 terms here. Now we have only here square. So we will have here 2 terms. One is bx, another uh, one is c, okay? Uh, you have to uh, remind this. Uh, how to uh, rewrite the factor here okay uh, this one is most important uh, part uh, to convert any given fraction into partial fraction uh, so here we have this that is x square plus 4 so we, uh, we have to write numerator as uh, bx plus c okay uh, now this is equation 1 let this equation as one number one now uh, uh, we have to multiply the whole equation that is equation one by the denominator of the given factor that is uh, or we can we have to multiply the whole equation by x minus one into x squared plus four so if we multiply the whole equation then we will have here x equivalent to here we will have a into x squared plus four okay if we multiply this uh, this term by this so uh, here plus bx plus c uh, into here look at me uh, you have to use bracket here okay now if we multiply this fraction by this then we'll have x minus 1 okay uh, you have to use uh, bracket here because uh, here uh, we are multiplying this uh, numerator uh, by x minus 1. If you don't use bracket here, then uh, what, it, uh, what does it mean? It means here only you are multiplying x minus 1 by c. So, uh, you will not uh, uh, hear uh, the expected result, okay? Uh, so, use bracket here. You have to use bracket here. Remind this. Uh, most of the student, maximum student uh, uh, mistakes made mistake here. Okay. Number two, equation number two. Now, uh, here we have to put the value of x. Uh, here, if we uh, let this as equals to zero, then we will have x equals to one. But from this, we can't. Uh, we don't have any value of x. So we have here only one value of x. So now putting putting x equals to one in equation uh, two, we get uh, here if we uh, put one, then we'll have one equals to uh, one plus four. That is five a into five a into five. Now here we have 0, 0 into this, that is 0. So a equals to 1 by 5. We have the value of a equals to 1 by 5. Now we uh, have, uh, we don't have any other option to put the value of x. So uh, we have to calculate uh, equation 2 here. Okay. From this equation we will equate uh, the coefficient of x square, ax and others. Okay then we will have the value of uh, b and c. Uh, if you uh, don't have any other option to put the value of x in equation 2, then you have to calculate from equation 2. Then uh, calculating the equation 2, uh, you have to uh, equate the coefficient from both sides. Then we will have the value of other uh, alphabets here. Okay. Uh, now, uh, from equation 2 from equation 2 we get uh, that is x equals to uh, a x square plus 4 a 
plus if we multiply this bx square minus bx plus cx minus c now if we take common x square then we will have a plus b into x square plus if we take bx common that is c minus b into x plus 4a minus c and in left side we have only x so uh, if we equate uh, equating now equating the coefficient of x square x then we have uh, here coefficient of x square is a plus b a plus b equals to here there is no x square so equals to 0 and uh, this is equation 3 uh, and uh, here the coefficient of x is b minus c uh, c minus b c minus b here the coefficient of x is here coefficient of x is 1 so we can write c minus b equals to 1 this is equation 4 now uh, now uh, from 3 from equation equation 3 we have we get uh, here we earlier we have already the value of a if we put the value of uh, a here then we will have b equals to minus 1 by 5 now from 4 from equation 4 we get uh, we get here c minus b that is we already have the value of b that is minus 1 by 5 so this minus 1 by 5 equals to 1 or c plus 1 by 5 equals to 1 or c equals to 1 minus 1 by 5 here uh, that is equals to uh, 4 by 5 okay so we already have the value of c b and a now put the value of uh, a b c in equation 1 now putting the value of putting the value of a b c now putting the value of a b c in equation 1 we get that is x by x minus 1 into x square plus 4 equals to uh, we have the value of a that is 1 by 5 and x minus 1 here uh, plus the value of b that is minus 1 by 5 into x plus 4 by 5 here we have x square plus 4 now simplify this then we will have 1 by 5 into x minus 1 uh, and uh, plus uh, we will have 5 here x square plus 4 minus x plus 4 ok we can uh, rewrite this as 4 minus x uh, 4 minus x that is the required f uh, partial fraction uh, of this given fraction here ok I hope all of you uh, have understood this uh, now you have to try this type of uh, similar types of uh, uh, fractions uh, then uh, it will be easier to you ok uh, in my next class I will discuss type C uh, type uh, C uh, 5 ok uh, thank you all all of us